People who live at tourist destinations. What is it you wish tourists would stop doing when visiting? Clean up your fucking trash. I used to live in a spring break destination which was a small surf town. After spring break, people would be cleaning up pounds upon pounds of beer cans, broken bottles, needles, used condoms. Fucking revolting. Edit for you nitpickers. I meant stop throwing your garbage on the ground. There, now get off my cheeks. Stopping their cars in the middle of the road to take in a view. WTF? These comments make me feel like a good tourist. Driving drunk. I live in Sonoma County, California. Make sure you've got a sober driver FFS. The roads around here are never more dangerous than winery tasting room closing time on a sunny weekend. Edit. So many fellow locals in this thread. Hello neighbors. Be safe out there, no matter where you are. Stop feeding the damn seagulls. Stop walking out into the middle of an active downtown street to take group pictures of yourselves in cheerleading outfits on the spot where Kennedy was shot. Leave. The. Wildlife. Alone. And this doesn't just extend to tourists but to people that live here too. 45 plus coyote attacks last year in no small part because of people giving them food leading to a cull. Bears getting habituated to people because they're being given food leading to them getting killed. Otters and sea lions getting fed. They're not cute cuddly things. They're wild animals and will kill you and then, because they're doing what they do, they'll get killed because they're dangerous to humans. When in reality they're only dangerous to ignorant rubes with no respect for nature. Deface World Heritage Sites for Souvenirs or Internet Clout. For example, the Colosseum in Rome has graffiti carved into its walls by arsehole tourists and Stonehenge is closed off to the public because assholes were chipping pieces off for souvenirs. I paid a lot to be here, change, blank, or I'll leave a horrible review. Driving like a dickhead. Leaving garbage anywhere but a rubbish bin. Stopping in the middle of the road to let out your family of 12 instead of pulling into the parking lot. I have a lot of stories. I live in Hawaii and work only with tourists. Best yet, my company was asked to contact the cruise ship company to have them move the ship because it disrupted the sunset. Stop being a belligerent asshole just because you're in Nolens. It's still not an excuse to get blackout drunk, litter, and make hell for food service workers. Going on the black rocks and being swept out to the Atlantic Ocean, risking the lives of first responders and locals many of whom are already traumatized from Swiss air. Don't freaking carve your name on stuff. The amount of people who need to carve their names onto historical buildings and statues are just crazy. Don't be an ass. You are ruining the place and respect people's properties. Yeah, it's a cute street with cute houses and charming gardens. But that does not give you the right to enter people's private properties to peep in their windows, walk in their gardens and try to open their doors. A colleague is selling his house because he's tired of people peeping in their windows and trying to open their door to have a look inside. He got yelled at for being inappropriate while he was sunbathing in his own garden by a tourist who let themselves in the gate and walked around the house to have a look at his garden. In New York, if you visit, please walk on the right side of the sidewalk, not the left. Also, if you need to stop and look at your phone or have a conversation with your fellow travelers, step aside. People are walking and if you abruptly stop it usually results in someone bumping into you. Also, do not walk like five people side by side and walking slowly. People can't get around you. It is infuriating. But, please keep visiting NYC. Spain. We get a shit fucked in of tourists. Very well behaved for the most part where I am. So, thanks for doing it right, tourists. The worst is littering on the beach, which is thankfully pretty rare. I occasionally see someone put a cigarette butt in the sand. A lot are taken away when they leave, but the sand has a way of hiding stuff, so a lot remain. I'll give you tourists one tip. Night swimming. If you put your keys, glasses, etc. down in the sand, they're gone. Between the sand and the dark, you'll never see them again. Amsterdam. Walking around like they're at Legoland. Blindly stepping into traffic. Oblivious to the fact that people actually live here. We use the bike to get to work. To get groceries. We're not just aimlessly cycling around for the fun of it.
allow the me from 20 years ago to take this opportunity to officially apologize for recreating the Abbey Road picture with my friends during a college trip to London. Specifically regarding movie, TV houses. Unless the house is a museum or has tours, it's almost certainly someone's home. Stay off their porch, don't walk through the yard, and stop throwing pizzas on the roof. The poor people who owned Walter White's house had to put up a giant fence, because the dozens of signs about it were being ignored. In my hometown, it somehow became a thing that tourists would rent mopeds. So when you are trying to get to work, you often get stuck behind a flock of tourists on mopeds, riding at 20 mph in formation so you cannot pass them. We are infested with gawking tourists' moped gangs. If they want to rent mopeds, at least go the speed limit, and ride in a manner that allows others to pass you. Getting shit-faced, coked up and getting up in people's business or pick fights with the doorman or bar staff. Or talk about weed and getting stoned the entire time. Or ask me where the red light district is while standing in the red light district. Or renting a bike when the last time you rode one was in preschool. 